we're back here. We're back to um, follow the road to SDGs on social economy. And uh, we're going straight to Sweden. And we have live with us tonight, uh, this morning, Elena Lindmark. Elena has been um, from Sweden to the world, actually, fighting for sustainability since the, um, since the 90s. And, um, and we've come a long way since the Stockholm conference. But but we're having signs that Elena's not going to be the first. I'm sorry for that. And we're starting with Ines. And <laughs> I'm sorry, Ines, for that, too. Uh, so Elena will be joining us. She's here. She's with us online. But uh, we're starting with Ines Skaida that, um, that uh, comes from Casa de Impacto. And to begin with, we're having this uh, little film on Casa de Impacto. And then we'll follow on into Ines. Estás à espera de alguém que te inspire ou guie? Que te mostre o lado certo e o caminho a seguir? De notícias mais otimistas e de mudanças no mundo? Guess what? Estamos todos à tua espera. Que nos inspires, que nos mostres o lado certo e um novo caminho a seguir. Que nos tragas a tua ideia, que pode mudar o mundo, pode mudar o teu mundo, o mundo dos teus amigos, dos teus vizinhos ou até o mundo todo. O teu inconformismo, resiliência e sentido de missão, aliados ao compromisso de revolucionar o que não está certo, farão o resto. Desafia-nos com a tua ideia de impacto. Escreve o teu compromisso e junta-te a este movimento. A Casa do Impacto é o One Stop Shop onde vais desenvolver o teu projeto de impacto, que vai mudar tudo. Aqui, acompanhamos-te desde o primeiro momento. Estamos a formar a nova geração de empreendedores de impacto. Uma geração mais consciente, mais responsável, mais sustentável. Construímos um verdadeiro ecossistema de impacto que te vai ajudar a escalar. Na Casa do Impacto, acreditamos em ideias, na tua ideia. So that was the call to action for Casa do Impacto, which is a project of Santa Casa da Misericordia. Those of you who don't know this institution has been uh, in Portugal for over 500 years and is now promoting the the top, the bangs of innovation with Inês Skaira, who's a social worker that came on the edge of innovation and is promoting the change through impact. Inês. Uh, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so, Casa do Impacto, as you, you could see on the video, is uh, powered by Santa Casa. And we bring together all the biggest partners and players in this ecosystem of social innovation and social entrepreneurs. We, we really believe that our mission is to promote the, a stronger ecosystem uh, and the uh, ecosystem that is more uh, uh, respected as a real entrepreneurship ecosystem. The, the difference is that all the entrepreneurs that we have inside, is, uh, they are basically entrepreneurs that are trying uh, in an innovative way to tackle social or environmental problems. So uh, we really believe and uh, that as a one-stop shop for them, that we could uh, give them the instruments and the means that they need to create their businesses and to scale it. Uh, social impact, uh, like every startup, they try to make a profit, but with this profit, they invest in their own businesses to create more and more social impact. So we have mainly four pillars. We have incubation, we have capacitation with acceleration programs, we have funding. So we have a fund uh, that is uh, that calls PLUS and we invest in testing ideas, new ideas, so we are very focused on creating a more uh, uh, pipeline of these startups 
and uh, at the same time we invest in scaling and more mature startups that need uh, a bigger, biggest tickets to, uh, to scale more impact in, even in other countries. And we have a four pillar that evaluation of impact. As you know, uh, impact businesses, uh, they, 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 they want to be profitable, but at the same time to investors uh, understand the, their success, uh, having metrics that really can prove and can show the impact of their projects are fundamental to prove that they are having the success that it, that it is important for all. So uh, this is the, the four pillars that are important for us. At the same time, we want to spread the impact because we really believe that the uh, social entrepreneur mindset is the mindset that we all have in the future, that we should have in the future. And even big companies that have social responsibility departments should focus on that because we have millions in Portugal that are uh, every year uh, spend uh, by big companies that really somehow uh, really don't understand that it's not giving their money away, but they could make it on a strategic way uh, and uh, a strategic way investing their money in projects that are really creating impact and they are viable and they could succeed in a long term and not just in a very short term that sometimes happen to these projects because they are not uh, sustainable, economical sustainable. So our mission is that, is promoting uh, new solutions as we are powered and inside of a big institution that somehow substitutes the states in Lisbon and deals with the, all kinds of vulnerable publics in Lisbon. Some of these uh, innovative solutions that we are creating inside with these startups are uh, having a big success uh, with our vulnerable, vulnerable publics uh, in uh, such areas like education or with homeless people or uh, uh, elderly or for example we are testing some, uh, of some of the solutions that we have with a startup for example that is Code Academy we are uh, creating jobs to unemployed people that are helped by Santa Casa for sometimes decades. And uh, we have very successful stories now with uh, these kind of solutions. Do you have any, um, uh, do you keep track of those that don't reach out to you? That is, uh, some, some projects come to you and don't get accepted or don't get selected. Do you know what happens to them? Yeah, all. we have a, a basis that we try to, every kind of call to action that we launch, mm -hmm. uh, to incubation, to acceleration or funding, we have this track of these uh, uh, projects that are applying and we try to reach them in the next phase for them. If they are a little bit more mature and they really understand, we always give feedback to the projects, even from our jury, for them to understand what they have to improve and uh, keep trying and keep trying to uh, somehow have mentorship or uh, some kind of uh, help from Casa do Impact. The results that you get uh, from measuring impact, do you, um, do you get them to be heard in terms of uh, public policies when they're being discussed? Yeah, you know, that's the, and, uh, probably our biggest challenge. We really believe that some of the solutions that we have are, they have the perfect fit. I used to work for uh, public uh, sector for years and years. And w what I find out is some of the solutions that the state has, they are already very old and they don't adapt for the new challenges that we faced. So some of these solutions we try to, uh, even the government or uh, the city halls or uh, understand that we are giving a more good solution for them. And Santa Casa, of course, it's uh, as uh, the biggest charity in Portugal, uh, we are trying to make even some pilots with these startups inside. 
so things will change. And uh, yeah, we're now going to Sweden for a little while to Elena Lindmark. Uh, Elena Lindmark, as I was saying before, has been working on, on sustainability since the 1990s. And, um, and we're now halfway through 2030. And um, the, the 2022 Initiative Foundation has been fighting, striving for all the, uh, uh, the, the sustainability um, uh, goals to be fulfilled. They haven't been fulfilled, not yet, but we, we can push them daily. And live now we have Elena, good morning. Hello, uh, we're still trying to get your sound back, I think. Um, are we okay with the sound of Elena Lindmark? Can anyone help technically? Because it wouldn't be sustainable. We could try to figure out what you're saying. But, um, okay, so uh, let me, while we try to fix this, let me get you a little more into what uh, Elena's been doing. Elena Lindmark is uh, really uh, a milestone on, on the developing of, um, of our goals. And uh, the sustainability development goals have been put out through the United Nations for all of us as a goal, not of getting a better planet, but just having a planet when we reach there. And we try to do it and we need to do it educationally and actively daily. It's, it's, our, it's not just a purpose, it's a need to survival. And what's been happening is that um, in some specific points of the world, in some specific, uh, specific uh, put forwards of the world, we could um, push the, the goals, we could push the activity and say, let's do this. This is a milestone. Yes. Let's go there. Oh, yes. Elena, Can you hear me we're now getting now? you. Yes, yes. Please. Please cross our boundaries now and, and uh, come with us through your journey of uh, getting these goals implemented. How are we? How, how do you stand on this? Well, um, thank you very much for having me, first of all. And I'm so sorry that I cannot be with you over there uh, in Portugal. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes, we can. We're following you. Perfect. Okay, uh, so, uh, well, we are actually lagging behind even more on the SDGs uh, and... Uh, Oops, okay, with um, Elena, we're back with What you. is happening? Okay, and great. You, we were jumping into rooms. Okay. It's okay, we're very active here. <laughs> okay, uh, could I show a short presentation? Yes, please. Of what, of what we're doing? Uh, let me see, should I click on something here or will you? Okay, excellent. I can see it. Perfect. Yes, it's happening. Uh, okay, so uh, now this is, as you can see, uh, our planet Earth, our home. Uh, and uh, we have not been uh, treating this planet uh, as we should. Uh, this is the first picture that was taken in 1972 of the Earth from space. Uh, and actually this picture made us, uh, or contributed to us slowly realizing that this is our home and there is only one planet Earth. Uh, but actually, uh, due to the fact that we're focusing on economic growth to a large, large, large extent, uh, in countries like Sweden, we are consuming as if we had four Earths, and that is simply not the case. There is only one. Uh, so, uh, welcome to the Anthropocene, an age ruled by humans. Uh, and, uh, well, we have created uh, several major crises, and we are definitely in a planetary emergency situation. Uh, but just maybe this pandemic that we're in right now could make us uh, understand that we need to change the system uh, to get out of this. Uh, and what is a bit, I don't know, sad uh, is that we have known this for such a long time. Already in 1962, Rachel Carson wrote about this in, in uh, her book, Silent Spring. And uh, already in 1972, we had the first UN conference on sustainable development here in Stockholm, where I'm based. Uh, 
And uh, already uh, at this conference, uh, they were thinking in a very sustainable way. They didn't build anything new. They would use the premises that they had. And they had white environmental bicycles to be shared among the delegates, an early form of sharing economy uh, to go from one place to another. And uh, also Olof Palme uh, mentioned in 72 that we need a law, an international law to end ecocide. We still don't have that law, but just maybe in 50 years later, in 2022, we might get it. Uh, that we had the Stockholm Conference is something that we realized uh, when I started the company, Sustainable Development Sweden, and was looking for a way to uh, match the name and also the purpose of the company to accelerate sustainability. And since 2015, we have a plan in the 2030 Agenda and the Climate Agreement. We're now in the end of 2020, the decade of action. So it's really time for action if we want to reach the SDGs by 2030. And uh, it's more or less easy for today's EAT leaders to set these long-term goals, but to get action now is trickier. So to help them on the way, we are proposing milestones and starting out in 2022 because 2022 is halfway in the 2030 agenda and also since the climate agreement. And it's also 50 years of the Stockholm Conference. If we get into action now, we can celebrate the Stockholm Conference and be proud of what we have achieved. And uh, to change the way we're doing conferences is also necessary to, and to en get engagement and lower the CO2 emissions from traveling, we are also proposing that we should have not only one conference in Stockholm, but several conferences all around the world, ideally at least one per country. Uh, and they should be connected digitally to be global. Uh, and uh, thanks to the pandemic, we know that this is possible to do uh, because now everybody is using digital solutions like right now. Uh, and also to reach the SDG, we need to work together uh, and uh, act locally. And how do we get rid of the silos that we're definitely most of the time in? Uh, because we need to work together to co-create sustainable societies. Uh, to understand that we are part of sustainability as humans, we use a compass thinking instead of seeing sustainability as social, economic, and ecological issues. Uh, we use a compass where the compass points have been changed from north, east, south, west to nature, education, economy, sustainable societies, and well being. And to show that we really need to turn things around and that nature is the basis for our survival, we've turned the compass upside down. And if we use this way of thinking, it's easier to see what the SDGs are all about, instead of just lining them up from 1 to 17. Uh, using the compass, we can easily see that the SDGs that are at the bottom of the compass are the basis for our survival for future generations on this planet. And the ones that are related to education, economy, innovation and lifestyle can be used as tools for creating sustainable societies and the well-being of individuals, and also for solving the damage that we've done to nature. And then we put the partnership goal, number 17, in the middle. Uh, and also to focus on the partnership and co-creation, we're right now arranging multi-stakeholder dialogue meetings for focusing on co-creation and action. And we're also planning for sustainability games in best for the world, games where everyone will be a winner to be launched in 2022. Uh, and in the company Sustainable Development Sweden, we're also developing a digital tool for education, engagement and action, and for developing sustainable organizations, and also simplifying the SDGs, what they're all about. Because business and finance need to take the lead. Actually, if you don't integrate sustainability into your core business, your purpose uh, and your business model, you will be out of business in a few years' time. So, let's conclude that it's time for action and today is only 590 days until the 5th of June, which is the World Environment Day 
uh, because the Stockholm Conference started that day in 1972. Uh, and the 5th of June will also be uh, the uh, 50-year anniversary of the Stockholm Conference in 2022. So join us in setting milestones and getting into action now. Thank you very much. Helena. Thank you so much. We still have a little while to go, and um, I would like to ask you to stay with us and, and, and answer this tricky question, which is, uh, you mentioned that finance and, and the economic world has to face this and has to be the pusher, has to be the puller, actually, of, of the whole change. But um, what about ego? Uh, what about each one on their brand, on their label, on their KPIs for next year. Uh, how do you deal with that long term? Yeah, uh, I agree. That is, that's a very, very tricky question because we are focusing on uh, competition. Yeah. And we need to focus on co creation and leaving no one behind. So, yeah, we need to let go of that one. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, but do you have, as the foundation, do you have a plan, a communication plan, a step-by-step -step plan to, uh, to advocacy towards the economical world, the finance world? Um, well, within the foundation, we are arranging uh, several digital or dialogue meetings where we include sector. Can you hear me? Sorry. Where do you, you include? The finance sector, because I mean, part of this is that we need to change the financial system. Okay. Can, it, yes. it, sounds, it seems like, yeah, you can hear me. We can hear you. We can hear you uh, on, uh, on the way to changing the financial sector. We'll have that on open because we're out of time right now, but um, we'll definitely have that as a goal, <laughs> changing the financial sector and their approach. Uh, for those of us listening uh, just in Portugal, the, please beware that we use this, uh, this name back and forth in English and Portuguese, but it's always the same and it's just uh, our path to the future, the ODS, the, 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 the system Sustainability uh, development goals are Objetivos de Desenvolvimento Sustentável, or the S in Portuguese, and they're the same. They're just our path, and it's we, we cannot avoid it, and we have to go forward with it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Inês. Thank you, Elena.